Arsenal, <laughs> it has been a crazy couple of days. The, 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 the media fallout, the, like Hamza must have posted about 10 clips now of Arsenal fans clapping the draw and he's angry about it. You know, the media are talking about how Arsenal not attacking is bad advert for the Premier League and they've embarrassed the Premier League. And they, they, it, this was the, this is, I've also seen quotes saying this is the worst city team in a decade. Arsenal didn't try and beat them. It's embarrassing. Do you feel like that, Dan? Do you feel embarrassed by Arsenal getting a draw on Sunday? Yeah, man. Man City are awful. He wasn't embarrassed, man. He was there, it's sat crazy. on the couch, fucking cheering, got a popcorn. I've seen it, man. The balloons, nah. everything. They would have a party that, over at AFTV. TV. I crapped the team. It was James who did that. James went, yeah. So I thought he was going to have a baby. I thought, you're all right, mate. Um, but uh, listen, he did come out and he said, look, I stand by it. I'm really happy. Um, yeah, I don't understand how... Hold it, right. hold it. Yeah. yes. That's I it. see it full time. Has he blown the whistle? Yeah. Yes, come on. Okay. Well done, Arsenal. Yeah, that was a little clap from you, Paul. Oh, exactly. Been... Thank you, that's Terry. Thank was, you for yeah. confirming that. Because I did just go, why is he cheering, if I'm honest? But listen, I, I, there are, it, it does surprise me. <laughs> is that what you say? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. What is it this does cloud surprise doing? Me. It, it does surprise me because, you know, I say this, oh, Manchester, Manchester City were awful and how did Arsenal not beat them? And I'm, I'm obviously talking tongue-in-cheek because Man City weren't awful. I didn't look at Manchester City and think, oh, my God, this is a mess. We're gonna beat. We're gonna win about three or four nearly. There's no way I did. In the first twenty minutes of the game, they're absolutely dominating us. They literally had all of the football. So I think I honestly think it was one of two things: we either come to set and and part the bus, or we come to go. Do you know what? Let's give it a go. They had all the ball, and we thought, well, we ain't gonna win like this or take anything if we carry on like this. We're gonna have to uh, change the way that we we we're gonna start play this game out. Um, it doesn't really bother me, the fact that we know we can put in a performance like that. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a compliment as well um, to Manchester City because they're a top, top side still. Anybody who thought we were going to go to the Etihad and blitz them, you are buzzing. That is not going to happen. Any time that we've tried to take them on toe-to-toe, we've lost three, fours or fives. So why do people think that was going to happen? Now, the reason is, is because there's certain sections of the fan base at Arsenal that tell everybody we're the best team in the world and that we've got the best 11 in the world. So that's why people are going at them, saying, well, why didn't you prove that by going at Manchester City's at best 11 and proving that you're the best 11 in the world? But I honestly don't... There's two things I don't agree with. I don't agree that Manchester City were depleted. They didn't have their goalkeeper or their centre-half. Um, but Kyle Walker, nobody wanted him to play anyway, from what Man City fans I was speaking to on previews. Everyone was like, oh, thank God for that. He's injured. We'll play a Kanji there. He's better. Yeah, Ake got an injury, but the rest of their team, you're telling me that they were depleted. They had Haaland, they had De Bruyne, they had Bernardo, they had, they had the best players everyone's talking about and being the best in the world. So I ain't having that for one. The other thing I'll say is, I honestly believe, still when I say this every week, I don't know why, but we rattle fa- we rattle neutral fan bases the most. And I don't get why. I really don't understand it. I'll tell you what happened at the weekend. The Chelsea fan rung up a Spurs fan, who rung up a West Ham fan, who rung up a United fan, who rung up a Liverpool fan. And they said, unfortunately, boys, man, Arsenal haven't got bad. What, what are we going to do? Well, done well, haven't they? They've got their point. But let's not say they've done well. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll tell them they bottled it and that they parked the bus. Oh, that's a good idea, Dave, yeah. Oh, Frank, what we'll do is we'll tell everyone that they parked the bus. Get on social media quick and try and rattle the Arsenal fans. And the Arsenal fans sit there going, Really? Nil-nil was rattled this many people? Oh, my God. We are relevant again. And I love it. I'm here for it. It's great to see. And we parked the bus. Um, even though there were seven players around Jesus when he was trying to shoot with their goal, by the way. You go back and look at it. No one mentions that. Um, but we parked the bus and we got a nil-nil performance. I thought the defence, the defensive performance was outstanding. I've got to say, I thought it was amazing. Um, Haaland does not like playing against Arsenal, man. Um, they've scored one goal against us in three games and he's now playing at Chelsea. Um, so that says a lot. That says a lot, man. Cole Palmer's the only one who scored against us in the Community Shield and he's at Chelsea now. So Haaland's not not had a good time against Gabriel and Saliba, man. Um, I did say after the game that there's a potential missed opportunity and I think some people took that as what you thought at Man United, Man City were there for the taking and depleted. No. Nah. Quite the opposite. I thought it was a missed opportunity because there was a couple of chances we had that I really felt we should have done better with. If Trossard puts that ball across to Martinelli, he's got a free shot on goal. Does he score it? We don't know. But there's an unbelievable opportunity there to win the game. Um, and I think that is our Mark Overmars moment of 98 at Old Trafford that we could potentially missed. 
So that was the reason I thought it was a potential missed opportunity. But this is an unbelievable side, by the way. They have just won the treble. So I don't know. There's a lot of people that are rattled about us, and I don't quite do, get it. Do you feel, Dan, that if you'd have lost, they'd have said, "Can't believe you got beat 100%. by by like this depleted team." If you'd have opened, if you if if you would have attacked too much, if you'd have won. They'd have said, yeah, but you beat a depleted City team. Why are you flexing? It, 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 it's not that big a deal. And because you got the draw, it was a case of you didn't do enough to win. I sort of feel that when it came to this game for Arsenal, win, lose or draw, a lot of the media and a lot of rivals were going to criticise you irrespective of, of what's gone on. Because when I asked a few rivals last week around the expectations, what would this result mean, that result mean, they didn't really want to specify what a draw would do. It was all win and it, they'll be in a good space, yeah. lose and it's all over. What would they get a draw? Oh, we'll see, we'll see. I always felt like they there was a narrative being created against Arsenal irrespective of what you did. Facts, bro. And the only way we would have actually stopped that and shut everybody up is if we would have won 3-0. And I did not have that as a prediction. I don't think anybody mm. had Arsenal to win 3 0 in this game. If we would have, everyone would have gone, can't say anything there. I'm absolutely bad at it. And I think they were shocked as well that there was a nil nil. And I think when you look at it, people have then gone, what are we going to say now? How are we going to rattle Arsenal fans now? Well, we have to say that they parked the bus and it was like, wow, your team's not that great. You couldn't beat a depleted Man United, Man City side. A depleted Man City side that I think their centre halves cost about 220 million, by the way. Um, it's incredible. Um, I don't know. I, I know LB feels very similar. He's spoken to me about it previously, but I do think it's mad that that is the narrative, but it means that we're doing something right, man, because they are so used to seeing Arsenal. Arsenal, let's get in the lights. It's going to be 4-0 well, 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 uh, Man City. Okay. Can I can Crazy. Right? Because to play devil's advocate a little bit, yeah, if Arsenal don't win the league this year and miss out on the league by a point or two, People will look to that game against City and go. No, they won't. Well, well, no, well, won't. well, well, they might do. If you win, okay, okay. They'll look they to, will if you, They'll look to oh, West Ham. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. If you win every game now to the rest of the season, and so do Liverpool, which is unlikely, but let's say it does, then they will. Because ultimately, why? why? Because you you didn't try to win the game. Yeah, but what, it came you, came for a point. You will look back at the West Ham and Fulham result and go, "What the hell happened there with Arsenal?" You won't yeah, go if they would have won but... at Man City. Because let, yeah. let, let me tell you why they won't, Mel B. Because last season, home and away, we lost to Manchester City. That wasn't why we lost the league. It was because we didn't win at West Ham 2 0 up. We didn't beat Liverpool when we were 2 0 up. We didn't beat Southampton at home. We were 3 0 3 1 down. Yeah, but That's people will say, why didn't you try to win? People will say, why didn't you try to win at the did end? You, end? Did, you lose, did, you, did you lose home and away last year to, to City? Yeah, to City. So, yeah, if you'd have won those two games, you'd have had six more points. They'd have had six less points and you'd have won the league. And if we would have beaten uh, Southampton no, and West Ham and Liverpool, then we would have had six points and we won the league. That's not the same, the, exactly the same thing. So the, the, you will always look to the ones that you should have won on paper. You won't go, anyone can draw to Man, Man City at the Etihad. Anyone could lose to Man City at the Etihad. I will not look back at this game and go, if only we try. Because no, no, we could have won that game. We could have won that game 1-0. I, I think it's a good point. The right pass. Bro, I think it's it. a good point. Yeah, but we could have won the game 1 0 if Ake didn't completely miss the ball and hit exactly. the ball in the net. This is what I'm done. saying. So, why are we looking at that game? Why are we looking at the, the West Ham game? It's where because, we, no, no, no. No, because, Dan, it's because you didn't try to win the football match. That's what people are saying. Yes, they did. I don't think they tried to win the football. I think he came with a game plan to get a point, and that's exactly what they got. I think they came to not lose, but to try and win it on the counter. That's exactly because what we did. At the end of the day, there is still a. Really the, did. The, there is respect for you. And I was listening to Jamie O'Hara said this. Somebody on Sky said similar. They, they keep trying to do the oh, when Liverpool and City go head to head, they just go for it. So I went and looked at the facts behind that claim. And in the two title race seasons that Liverpool and City have been up against each other, Liverpool have failed to, to win at home and at least draw away on both occasions. They drew the last title race, they drew both games and they. I think they drew at home and lost the way in the in, in the first title race back in 2018-19. So if they would have taken Arsenal's approach in the games home and away against City and been less attacking, slightly more pr pragmatic, defended resolutely, and won one and drawn one and walked over four points, they would have won the league both those seasons. And it wouldn't be five City titles to Liverpool's one. Mm. It'd be three titles to th three. Based on the logic that this head-to-head clash between City and Arsenal is the de facto decider of the se season because 
if you're going to apply that logic to this campaign, we have to go back and apply it to all the campaigns when the top two teams, maybe the top three teams, go head to head. And Liverpool didn't play like Arsenal and therefore they didn't win the league. So when you look at the facts behind the matter, Arsenal have gone for this approach and it's yielded four points home and away against Liverpool and against City. And in the title race between the two of you, the team that's come out on top has always been City when it comes to Liverpool and, and City because you've won five league titles to one. Arsenal are not as good overall as Manchester City, especially not away from home. You're the best team in the world. To go with the same gun hole approach Liverpool have done in title races, for me, would be stupid because Liverpool never succeeded doing that. So being goaded into... It's a bit like I said this before. You're both match-going fans at times. You know when a, a, a centre-backs are clearing the balls into the channels, the, the opposing fans always goad them. And they goad them by... Whoa, 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 because what they want you to do is play dilly-dally on the ball. They want your ego to kick in. They want you to make mistakes. So all Arsenal, what they're trying to do to Arsenal here is make their fans and make the media start demanding you guys be more expansive, less defensive, because they want Arsenal to be more vulnerable, in my opinion. And no, look, I, I, think... I, and I agree with that point. I agree with that point, too. But the, 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 I think the reason... Listen, I, first of all, I think it's a good point for Arsenal. And I think what Arteta did was the correct thing to do. Yeah, I'm just playing devil's advocate. And I'm explaining why people are saying that Arsenal made a mistake. If Arsenal, yeah, don't win the league, Dan can sit here all he wants and say, oh, well, it was West Ham and it was Fulham. But ultimately, whatever you guys say, Arsenal did come to the, come to City and park the bus. I agree with that strategy. I think it was the right thing to do. But if they miss the league by a point or two points and lose it on goal difference, people will, whether you like it or not, go, uh, well, maybe they should have tried it at the Etihad. Now, you can sit there and say, well, actually, would it was be, the Fulham would, game. And actually, would they the be Fulham. right? Would they be right in your opinion, though? Is it, what, well, what's, you, what's... You'll, you'll, you'll never know because no one knows what would have happened if 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 they full sent it. Now, I think if they full sent it... Clearly, we all know if, why if... everybody wanted Arsenal to go at sea. We all know. Because we would have lost the game like we have the last four years. I don't think there's a guarantee we would have lost the game. I don't think there's a guarantee we would have lost the game. The way we're playing. Part of the bus because we didn't pick three points up. Even though, by the way, Man City many, had absolutely no chance in the whole game. How many, how many teams, how many teams in the last... Five, about Man City. We're how many about teams in, in four. Why? How many it. teams in the last five years have gone to the Etihad, gone all out attack and walked away with victories? Right. Genuinely. Not, not how many have done that? So which, again, is why, I which is why I think he did the right thing. I think yeah, no, right I, thing. I agree, and that's what I don't under. I, someone said our oh, Spurs and Chelsea went there this year. Yeah, they they were more attacking, but they still only got draws. Like it's not as though they were win. If four or five teams had gone to the Etihad this year and attacked City and press high, and had beaten them, I would I would accept the argument. And I get you're playing devil's advocate, LB. I'm not having a pop at your question. Your question is you're you're you're, you're playing devil's advocate. It's hypothetical. I just think it's. It, no one was predicting Arsenal to win. All the people salty Arsenal drew are the same people that laughed at the idea Arsenal would get a result of any kind here. So that's why I find it difficult to take them seriously. The same people saying it's the worst City team in a decade are also predicting you to do a double a double treble. That's also a BS. That was, that, that's also a BS. Listen, there's a lot of people that are speaking nonsense about this game, yeah? I, I, I was on Twitter just before the game, and people was like, Oh, this is a terrible city team. It's a weak city team. I was looking at the team going, hang on a minute. <laughs> What's going on here? We got we got Ake playing, we got Gavardio playing, we got Akanju, who's been our best defender, we got Ruben Diaz playing. Our midfield and attack was as strong as it can possibly be. And Ortega's probably the second best goalkeeper in terms of uh, a backup in Europe, or certainly up there. He's got he, I mean they're talking about potentially going to Bayern Munich in the summer. So I don't I don't know what was going on there. Listen, like I say, for me, I think Arteta came with a game plan, right? One sec. I, I think he come with a game plan, yeah. And I think his strategy was, if we draw this game, there's nine matches left. And in theory, we don't have to think about Manchester City again unless we fail. Because if we win all our football matches, but so does Potsy, don't matter. Arsenal above us. So I think he literally come and thought, right, let's, let, let's, get, let's eliminate Manchester City almost from our thinking. Because if we now handle our business... For the rest of the season, we won't have to think about them. He's probably looking at Liverpool, and I, I genuinely do think this. I think Liverpool will drop points in at least two games now for the rest of the season. Not, not probably not more than two, two games. So he set his he set Arsenal play as a challenge. Liverpool are going to drop points maybe in two games. Can we go for the rest of the nine games and, and drop points in only one match? Now, if Liverpool go on, and that, so this is the thing, people say, yeah, but now he's given control to Liverpool. Uh, for me, if Liverpool go on now and win nine games in a row, you just have to say, 
congratulations, Liverpool. That's an incredible achievement. Like, fair dues. Like, what can you do? But I think what Arteta has done, I think Arteta has played the long game. And I think he's I think he's been really tactical about the, the title running. And I think he's done the right thing. But, 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 the game is... but if they do lose the title by a point or two, whether you like it or not, people will look back at the game and go, well, maybe you shouldn't have parked the bus and actually got for and, it. And, and, and if we win the game the league by a point, they'll look back and go, what a point that was. This exactly. is how you look at it. Exactly. You look at it in two, two ways, man. And I think for, for me, there's just a lot of people that are not happy that Arsenal didn't get smashed. That's what it looks like on on you know the from a neutral fan base perspective. Very bizarre. I've never seen so much drama over a nil-nil game, which was boring by the way. And it's like all of this drama's coming out and it's like, well, you know, but, and you're right, so I don't really feel like Arsenal fans would have got respected even if they would have won it. It's just one of those things at the moment. We're a mm. very hated club. Understandably for some of our fan base that are extreme and get on people's tits. I get it. Even though all fan bases have got it by the way. Um and that's the way I see it. I just honestly, you, you win the league by a point, people will look back at the Etihad and go, bloody hell, that was a massive point then. You lose it by a point, and maybe people will if they want. Mm. If that's the game they want to pick, this game is so vital and so pivotal, fair play. And, 